My name is Toby Brooks. I'm the Integrated Air Missile Defense Site Lead for Northrop Grumman at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. So I joined the Army in 1989 as a second lieutenant in the Air Defense Artillery Branch. I've served in the Patriot Force for 26 years before retiring and joining Northrop Grumman. During my time in the service, I deployed during Operation Desert Storm and I deployed during Operation Iraqi Freedom. We're at Tobin Wells, a training area for air missile defense units assigned to Fort Bliss, Texas. Our units come here and they can do march order and placement training of their assigned weapon systems. Today, that includes IBCS. So one of the key features of IBCS, Integrated Battle Command System is, it takes the best sensor, fits it with the best shooter to receive the best results. So now I have the ability to look over the horizon, something a ground commander can never do. So that mass terrain, those mountain ranges, they disappear with IBCS. In the past, we've had some systems that are on fire direction, meaning I could provide early warning, I could provide queuing, but I couldn't action off of that information. IBCS changes that. All the capabilities on the network are fire control quality. The Army's not buying new command control systems because they've invested in IBCS. IBCS will allow them to maintain one common command and control platform that all sensors and all shooters tie into. So with that common command and control system, which IBCS creates, they don't have to change it in the future. They'll adapt it, they'll add additional sensors and shooters, but they don't have to change the base command and control platform. IBCS is ready now, and we've demonstrated that through multiple tests. We've demonstrated that we can integrate Navy platforms, Air Force platforms. Think about the sharing of that information, never done before, at the fire control quality level. That's what IBCS brings to the battlefield. 